Right. Yes. Oh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow on Instagram and I just did that to all, for all of you that thought I disrespected him. That's true, because he never does that. Disrespected him again. Yep. <laughs> uh, and you go, thank you, of course, on Patreon and yeah. follow official Twitter account. What kind of content do they find over on all these places, too? Uh, juicy content! It's so juicy. <laughs> and, um... Ring the bell. <gasps> wow! Harkening back to yesteryear. Well, it hasn't been a year yet. No. Uh, we haven't rung the bell in a long time. I know, I always forget to ring the bell. I totally forgot about the bell. It's not like YouTube sends out notifications anyway. Really? Uh, but we're not bitter. Nope. Today we're having a little something special. A little something special? This? Is Priyanka coming to visit? No. Oh. We are reacting to a guy playing the tab tab tabla. Tabla. Yeah. Tubla. Sweet. Tabla. Tabla. This guy. Zakir Hussain is apparently like oh, the master. master, like the best God of all time. Okay. It's called horse racing. Uh, horse running. Yes, sorry. Horse running. Yes. Oh. Here we go. Now I'm gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Sounds so much like tap dancing.
seconds in, like fast forward. sounds with their fingers go 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 watch some uh go watch some Fred Astaire solo dancing and watch the ease with which Fred Astaire has mastered tap dancing the mastery that just causes you to uh there's a dance number with Fred Astaire and Jane Powell um no that's not yeah that's it anyway that was unfreaking believable yeah, I understand why they call him the god of the tabla. <laughs> is it Jane Powell? There's a dance number Fred Astaire does, it's not with Ginger Rogers, but it's the two of them, and they go into this solo number where they're going in circles and they're spinning, and each of them at different points is going bop, 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 and the, that's the ease of mastery. It's doing something that another person would attempt to do and would take decades to be able to do at a level that is acceptable. Mm -hmm. He is light years ahead of that level and has reached a place of ease. That's what I said, but he, he was transcendent. He's not even thinking. That man was in an artistic zone uh, that is where all artists want to get in. And I, it's, it's when, you've, when you've hit a place where you're just, you are the art form. You are the art form. That man is the tableau. He is the art form. Yeah. Um, that was, that was, he's like the physical embodiment of that art form. And I don't even know if that's accurate in terms of, I know nothing about the discipline of that percussive instrument. I know what it probably entails based on what I've experienced with some of the more common Western instruments that are conga uh, and any of the other one. That, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that that guy would be like, there are some people, like Stevie Ray Vaughan is electric guitar. I mean, just, he is, uh, as is Eric Clapton. It's just an extension of themselves. Uh -huh. uh, this man is, that's, that, that instrument is an extension of his soul. I wonder that was so great, he's the son of a, of <sighs> a um, legendary tableau player. Uh, say Uda. <coughs> Ustad, is that Alia or Ala? Ala. Ala. Um, Ustad Alaraka. Uh, he's the that's son. his father. Yeah, that's his father. Uh, so it makes sense because people like kids of coaches, they're always pushed incredibly hard. 
uh, into what they do, but they, and sometimes it's <laughs> in certain, you know, stars like Michael Jackson's father. Yeah. And it's done way too much, but it also brings out perfection. Right. That Michael has even said that in regard to. That's what they always didn't say. like his dad, but if his dad hadn't been a driver <coughs> the way that he was, he, he might not have pushed him to the he level might have of Michael Jackson. It's true. Uh, so it's it's one of those things. But uh, and I don't know if his father was that way. I'm just yeah. We're not saying that. <laughs> no. Uh, but the, the, the fact that his father was a legendary, which would have helped him obviously get even better and better and better. This guy is incredible. I just I can't understand how that's done with your fingers. Oh, with every part of your hand. Yeah. Um, He's the first one that we've seen that's come, kind of done the whole everything gamut of things you can do with that instrument. I've always been able to do it. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. like, it reminded me of that. So it, I learned that in middle school. Uh, so maybe I'm a tablet player. Uh, <laughs> you might be. You very well might be. Um, but but it, the, the use of the palm and the, Oh yeah, that was cool. Which he varied up. Uh, and other little nuances. Uh, yeah, that was incredible. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, like I said, I look on all the comments and whatever's like upvoted a lot definitely helps. I will look up what it is, and this was highly voted on. Um, people wanted us to watch the horse. It's, it's called the horse racing one. And I'm sure he has a thousand more. Um, but uh, let us know what other ones we should react to. Other instruments, if there's masters of their instrument like this, please, because um, this this is not just entertaining and artistically pleasing for me. I just it gives me hope for humanity. When I see fine artistry at a level of mastery like that, I am so optimistic about the human race <laughs> because it is an encouragement because the world is full of such subpar artistry that other people accept as good. And to see something like that and know that that exists in the world I just want more people to see it and say, if you want to see what fine art is, watch that. That that was the embodiment of artistry. Yeah, gorgeous, fantastic, at every level. Man, you are an absolute master. Say his name, Zakir. I think it's Zakir, Zakir Hussein. Yeah, he. If I saw him live, I'd be gobsmacked and would might have a hard time shaking his hand. I was getting very emotional watching him. It's like what I've told you what happened when I saw Davis Gaines play the Phantom mm. and Phantom of the Opera. Mm. Man, I didn't know whose level of artistry was such an embodiment of the art form that I was overcome. I could not go backstage to talk to the man because I was, I was weeping. Uh, I, I don't know that if I had seen a full presentation of him like for 90 minutes or something, I couldn't talk to the guy. I don't know how they can do that for 90 minutes. It, the that's have got to be so, yeah, it's probably countless. Cal Right? Countless, 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 thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours. I know. Spent. It's, it's just, I'm guessing his hand's just callous and he doesn't even feel it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Right? I mean, like a yeah. guitar player? Oh, yeah. He definitely has calluses and parts of his muscles that are developed that, um, and, and just, just the, the love, the Dude, love he has. For you're him. insane. And unbelievable. You're incredible. Unfreaking believable. <laughs>